And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the Starlight Celebration for 2020. And as always, hello from Mifri. So, a little bit late. Uh, you know, Christmas is already finished, but whatever. As we say, better late than never. So, we are here in Old Gridania at the Amphitheater at 10-9. Uh, and we need to talk to Argaranji. I have not missed these names. So the quest is called A Festive Fiasco. This is the season of the year again, and Am Garanji is making plans for extra an extra special starlight. Well, if it isn't my favorite adventurer, I see the saint has once again guided you to me in this most wonderful of seasons. Truly, your very presence um, is a starlight miracle. That said, I'm afraid I must apologize. There has been a bit of a rub, you see. And as such, we're not quite ready to kick off the festivities as of yet. So, how shall I put it? Our troubles began when we encountered some unexpected delays in deciding on a theme for this year's event. Things spiralled from there, and as a result, we've been left with far more too much to do in far too little time. Um, as a result, we celebrants have been forced to recruit helpers of all stripes, from small children to strapping adventurers like yourself. Speaking of which, you wouldn't perchance be able to, and willing to lend us a hand, would you? Yeah, why not? Um, oh, thank you, my friend. I dare say your generosity truly embodies the starlight season. Without further ado, allow me to explain the tasks we would ask of you. I wonder if there's any sort of weird minigame here. Andeville. So, it would seem that you found the most promising helper for me again this year. Another adventurer, and I suppose this one too, will also be wanting some kind of reward for their services. I say sometimes I wonder if this whole starlight business is worth the effort, and the coin we pour into uh, um, year after year. Must you be so such a killjoy, my young friend? Uh, just look at the faces of the children around you. By each year, they spend moons waiting in eager anticipation of this most joyous of seasons and the most delightful presents they will receive. Ah, yes, the presents. Worthless trinkets uh, hoisted off um, on naive young fools in hopes of making them forget the mundanity of their everyday existences. It really is a killjoy, Jesus. Um, if we truly wanted to bring joy to people, would it not be more prudent to invest in things that might actually improve the quality of their daily lives? Allow uh, me to introduce uh, Kalimto Alito, a son of a prominent family of surveyors in Aldar. He's journeyed here all the way from the Altona to help us prepare this year's festivities. Uh, standing beside him is the saint of Neme um, himself, a man who needs no introduction. Let me state for the record that I did not come here merely to deck the streets with gaudy lights and trinkets. I initially proposed to Father that we do away with all this uh, mummery and transform this festival into something that would contribute more directly to mutual economic prosperity of our nations and the realm as a whole. But did he listen? No. He simply muttered something about how he didn't raise his son to be a uh, stuffy uh, spoil sport and um, all but demanded that I accompany Lord Mand, uh, uh, pardon, the Saint of Neme, um, here to learn something about holiday cheer. Whatever that is supposed to mean. How would I know? I'm blind. Uh, come now, um, Lito. Understand that you are serious about your family's business. But I dare say I wouldn't. it wouldn't hurt for you to lighten up time to time. Here, uh, perhaps this will put a smile on your face. Uh, do you mean that truly? If I help you, I can get a present too. Well, of course, my dear child. Behold the twinkle box. 
Oh, Jesus. Tucked beneath the many lids of this casket are hidden all manner of delightful wares. Why, they've been fashioned especially for this year's festivities by some of the realm's most celebrated crafters. Uh, for every task you complete, you will earn the opportunity to pop off one of its lids and help yourself to the contents within. And that's just the start of it. Needless to say that there will be even more glorious gifts in store for you when the preparations are complete and the festivities can kick off in earnest. Um, you can think of this chest as something to tide you over in the meantime. And as our way of thanking you for lending a celebrant a helping hand in our time of need. What do you say, child? Wow, this is wonderful. Uh, mother and father say that I have to help out around the house during starlight. So I don't know if I can come back. Uh, but I have plenty of time to help now. Just say what you need and leave it to um, Usain uh, to get things done. Usaini, I can't pronounce her name. Usaini, is it? Uh, what a generous girl you are. Thank you ever so much. Needless to say that we've prepared some very special presents for adventurers like you as well. So I hope you can collect and enjoy them all. Yes, yes, isn't that all so special? Now, if we're done getting all giddy about trifling babbles and toys, I should be getting back to work. All those starlight trees aren't going to decorate themselves after all. Uh, now then, if you're ready to get started, simply head west from the amphitheater and speak with my colleague stationed before the water wheel. Um... You'll be happy to explain all you need to know to get started. That means a level worker guild, right? Or does that mean somewhere else? I wonder. Uh, oh no, so somewhere else completely. Alright, so as per old tradition, once we get there, we will continue. Okay, we made it. So let's talk to this person. So, an adventurer, I was expecting young um, Isaini, but I suppose you'll suffice. I'd like you to get to work immediately, taking down the decorations nearby. Um, hold your chocobos now. It's not as if we're calling the celebration off. It's simply that, well, you met uh, Cam Lito Halito, yes? Um, he was in charge of this area, and let's just say that his sense of what's appropriate for Starlight is something to be desired. I can handle things here by myself, so I'd ask you to head to the Hudra's Guild and take down any seasonally inappropriate decorations you might find. When you're through, you can bring the inappropriate ornament back here to me, and I'll see that it's properly stored away. Fair enough. Okay, so you don't have to travel too far, thankfully. Go. Oh, let's get rid of this decoration. Oh, these are like Halloween decoration. And this is from the Easter event. Okay. And... And just some random pumpkin heads. Alright. So, once we return to the guy... We'll continue in a sec. Okay, we're back. Uh, I can handle things here by myself, so I'd like you to head to the Conjurer's Guild and take down the blah blah blah. Okay, I've already done that. Here you go. Uh, yes, I should do it then. Sitting here, finish cleaning up her assigned area as well. So, um, in half the time, I might add. Uh, did you see some of those so-called decorations? It's as if the, that man has never attended a single day's worth of Starlight festivities in his life. At any rate, I suppose I'll see to it that the ornaments you took down are replaced with something more festive. In the meantime, I'd appreciate it if you could report to Am um, in my stead. Of course, leave it to me. Okay. And back we go. 
Okay, we're back. Talk to her. So, thank you for all your help, friend. I promise that we'll get our act together one of these years. In the meantime, we truly appreciate your saintly efforts in helping us see that every child has a smile on their face or starlight. Allow me also to apologize on uh, Cam Lito's behalf for the extra work he created for you. The boy has much to learn, yes, but I've no doubt that he will come to understand what the spirit of the season is all about in due time. In the meantime, allow me to express my gratitude for all you've done in true starlight fashion. We have a present from the Tinkle Box. Go ahead, help yourself, and remember that there are more gifts waiting for you if you're feeling inclined to lend us your aid again. So upon completing each of the tasks assigned to you by Am, you may open one of the lids of the Tinkle Box and help yourself one of the presents inside. Fair enough. Okay, so it forces it to be in a certain order. That's done. We have four tasks to go. So, oh, and lest I forget, I'm not the only one who truly appreciates your efforts. Far from it. We've been receiving messages from the realm over thanking you and your fellow adventurers for all you do for the people of Eorzea each and every day. Uh, my colleague Banefield here in the amphitheater is holding um, onto them all. So, um, if you're curious, simply say the word. I'd be happy to share the words of appreciation and good cheer. Uh, Misses of gratitude from across the realm have arrived in time for Starlight Season. A new letter will be available to read each time preparations for festivities are successfully completed. But be sure to take a break from your efforts from time to time to speak with Bane Failed. Fair enough. So, the next quest, Starlight uh, Slapadashery. So Anne will not rest until she has seen to it that this year's Starlight Celebration is the best ever. Um, I'm heartened to see that you've decided to stick around. Apparently there's another set of decorations that aren't quite up to snuff. Would you mind helping Isain uh, look into the matter and fix things up? I've asked her to wait just outside the amphitheater. Fair enough. Uh, let's go. Um, oh, hello there. Uh, when I was on my way back before, some of the townspeople told me that there's something strange about the snowman over by uh, Shaded Boa. Camlito uh, was in charge of those as well. Um, I know that he's new to all this, but how hard can it be to make a snowman? Anyhow, let's go and see what's wrong. Uh, shall we? I'll race you there. Okay. All right. So uh, again, continue in a sec. Okay, here we are. So uh, there's something strange about the snowman, yes, but I can't quite put my finger on it. What do you suppose it is? Or we'll face the wrong way. They don't have faces. But the snowmen seem to be facing in odd directions. Set them straight so that the starlight festivities might proceed in good order. Um, if you want to take another look from a distance, just ask me. Okay. Uh, turn it clockwise. Clockwise. Okay. okay, the snowmen are now facing straight so as to welcome the customers to the shops. Got it.
So, wow, it's as if the snowmen are all smiling and inviting us in. Um, who'd have thought that turning them around a bit could make such a difference? Um, oh, it's you two. Uh, whatever are you doing uh, lolling about here? I've already finished my latest tasks. Behold, take notes and perhaps one day you'll be able to work as efficiently. Uh, once again, uh, Camlito Halito's decorations strike you as leaving something to be desired. Um, now I see why you work so fast. I believe the word you're looking for is Flapdash. By the sheer nerve, might I remind you that you are... Or you people are lucky a personage as esteemed as myself has deigned to assist with such a menial tasks. In a just world, I would be uh, placed in charge of the entire event, and you would be assisting me. That is where my true talents lie, not in making silly snowmen and putting lights on trees. You don't know the first thing about Starlight, that's why all your decorations were such a mess until this adventurer um, and I fix them. That's good English. What well, what nonsense is it? It's true. She actually understands what Starlight is all about. She wants everyone who takes part in the festivities to feel joy of the season. And it shows in the case she puts in every little task. And it's also why I'm doing this two days after Christmas. Oh. Um, don't you care about making others happy? Or even being happy yourself? Why, I haven't seen you smile once the whole time you've been here. Why, I never came here to uh, do a job and against my will. Uh, perhaps putting up a, uh, these ridiculous decorations is enough to amuse a child like you, but I am a man grown. So what if I'm a child? I actually care about Starlight. And my decorations will put smiles on the faces um, than yours ever will. While this happiness sat, be honest, Starlight is all about getting presents, yes? Uh, then why don't I give you some coin? With money, you can buy whatever you want. I don't want your stupid money. Nah. Guess it's the difference between older thinking and younger thinking. I'm going back. I'll take money. Hell yeah. I'm a 36-year-old man, not a 12-year-old girl. Uh, making a poor child cry, consider me unimpressed, uh, Camlito. And yeah, I cannot help but feel that there is more to that child's uh, situation than meets the eye. I shall inquire further. In the meantime, pray return to Am um, and appraise her of your progress. Uh, perhaps I could stand uh, to take uh, my work a bit more seriously. Yeah, have a jolly, jolly Christmas. Okay, let's head back to... Um, Okay, we're back. So welcome back, friend. Thanks to your tireless efforts on our behalf, I am pleased to report that we are closer than ever to getting the festivities in full swing. And uh, don't forget to help yourself to another present from the Tinkle Box. I dare say that you've more than earned it. So that's the second one. And thankfully, I actually emptied my bags. So, another thank you letter has arrived from one of your admirers. 
speak to Bainfeld in Amphitheater to see what it says. Fair enough. But no. Uh, the true spirit of Starlight. Um, Am remains hard at work and preparing for the Starlight celebration of a lifetime. Thanks in no small part to your tireless efforts, I dare say that we're on track to begin the festivities sooner than I anticipated. They said I fear that there's still more work to be done. Um, if only it, sorry, if only I weren't so utterly useless. Hmm, did you say something, Camlito? Me? Oh, it was nothing, nothing at all. At um, any rate, the next job I'd like to entrust you is preparing the tree. Speak to my colleague in the Archon Orchard um, over in the in New Gradania, and she'll be happy to brief you to the task at hand. Cool. All right. Uh, once I get there, we will continue. Hey, we made it. Uh, ah, um, here to help. Remarkable. Uh, Splendid, ferocious, even. Okay. Um, I've been inspecting the trees uh, that have been put around town. And I couldn't help but notice that something was amiss. Uh, see here, part of the trunk has been gnawed away, as if by an animal or the like. Were any more damage to be done to the tree, it might fall over. And that would be most perilous uh, for any small child um, who happened to be standing beneath at it at the time. Um, I had a mind to call for a skilled woodworker uh, that perhaps they might examine the tree and reinforce it for us. I ask you to head to the Carpenter's Guild in my stead? Uh, this adventure will be going, you say? I suppose that means that you won't be needing me. Very well then. I shall inspect the other trees or the like. Okay, speak with a capable carpenter. Alright, so this is the Carpenter's Guild. I always like the leader of the Carpenter's Guild. Uh, a nice person who does encourage you to learn crafting properly. Eaten. Um, go away. There we go. Capable Carpenter. So, uh, hold there, what brings you to the Carpenter's Guild during this season of celebration, friend? Uh, such cute little wood creatures have been chewing away at your starlight tree, you say? Well, that won't do at all. I dare say this calls for an investigation. Fair enough. Uh, let's go back. I do miss the, like... A Realm Reborn era of crafting. It's probably the best this game ever had. Let's hope it gets back to it um, in the next expansion. So I cannot thank you enough, my friend. Clearly, you have summoned the Carpenter of the passing skill. I must relieved to know that the children of Gridania need not fear any falling trees as they open their presence this starlight season. Ah yes, I forgot to tell you, while you were visiting the guild on my behalf, Amlito Halito was kind enough to go about inspecting the other trees in the area. I'm pleased to report that he assures me um, that not one um, shows any suspicious gnawing or tooth marks. He's a rather uh, uh, dour fellow, isn't he? And yeah, it would seem that he takes his work quite seriously. I dare say I was rather impressed at how closely um, he examined each and every trunk with such a painstaking eye. So, uh, he mentioned that he was heading back to the amphitheater after finishing the job. Why, he didn't even stick around long enough to allow me to thank him for his efforts. Uh, might you be so kind as to pass along a simple message of gratitude on my behalf? I guess. Oh, where is he? Oh, he's back at the amphitheater. Okay. Let's go. Okay, we're back. So, let's talk to him. I can't help but feel that something is missing, and yet, what could it be? 
Um, Halito is staring so intently at the snowman that seems he might burn a hole straight through the body. Arms are missing. I know. They have a necklace of the finest gold with a sparkling gem inlaid. Give a glamorous appearance befitting of the season. And it would be stolen as well. But no, I might appreciate that, but I am not a child of Gridania. Um, I must put myself in their shoes. Whatever sort of snowman would bring a smile to their faces. Um, is something amiss? Are you still thinking about what Hussein said? Um, of course not. I could not care less about the idle musings of children. I simply thought that perhaps my masterwork here could benefit from a finishing touch, that's all. Yeah, right. Ah, who am I fooling? It's true. I haven't stopped thinking about what the girls said for bells now. Oh, yeah, but duh. Um, here I thought that I would come here and put uh, together a festival for the ages. And as it turns out, I can't even make a single child happy. Else, I'm only making myself uh, miserable as well. And yet, I must not give up hope. There is still time for me to do my job, right? Um, to earn the right to open the chest of presents and claim the glory that is rightfully mine. And so, I got to thinking. That child was looking at this snowman with a most intense gaze, was she not? No doubt that she saw something in it that has managed to escape me. Uh, forgive me, I suspect my work might take longer than I expected. Pray report to Am ahead of me and tell her I shall be along in due time. Okay. Uh, welcome back, friend. Another job well done. I am pleased to say. And, well, what are you waiting for? Help yourself. You more than earned it. Hmm, Kalito's still putting the finishing touches on his snowman, you say. Uh, dare I dream that he's uh, come to understand the true spirit of Starlight at last. Uh, for, indeed, this season isn't just about gaudy lights and toys and trinkets. If every last child is not able to find something of joy here, um, I have... Not done, uh, sorry, we have not done our duty. And to make that possible, we must first find a reason to rejoice for ourselves. Our smiles light up it, the faces of the children, who in turn warm our hearts uh, yet further, allowing to further spread happiness across the realm. Um, it is that cycle of giving and receiving, that ever expanded circle of peace and joy that embodies the true soul of the starlight season. Now take your present proudly, my friend. Let it fill your heart with pure satisfaction that you might have happiness um, a plenty to share with your fellow adventurers and indeed Eorzeans the realm over. Whatever. Poor Gil. Yay. Uh, here's another. But more bag space being used. Uh, another thank you letter has arrived from one of your adventurers. Speak to Bayfield at the amphitheater to see what it says. I'll read them later. Uh, next. Uh, one happy family. So, Am is determined to make miracles happen this starlight season. All I waits for no one. Further, without further ado, I would entrust you with the next most vital task in preparing for the festivities. Simply speak to my colleague stationed at uh, Apakalu Falls um, on the way to the residential district in the north. Cool. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're here. Uh, back to off your aid. Well, I suppose that we could put uh, you to use. Perhaps you've seen the snowmen around the area. Well, the truth is, we employ a little bit of sorcery to make sure they don't go melting in the event of untimely warm weather. 
To that end, I'd task you with stuffing one of these fragments of what we call eternal ice inside each uh, one of them. If you could see that the uh, near the ones near the manor district north of here, Isain and I will take care of those by the Lancers Guild. Pray meet us there when you're done. Fair enough. I remember before they released housing system, or the, the housing system in this game, I, I thought that that would be an entrance. Right, to what, to one of the housing areas. But this housing area apparently is just for the nobility of Gridania. Never got through this door. Okay. So uh, once we get to the Lancers Guild, we we will continue. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, here we are. And with that, I do believe our job is done. Ray. So I trust that you've seen to your snowmen as well. Excellent. I'll survey the area one last time to make sure that we haven't overlooked anything. Ray, go on ahead of me and report back to Am. Uh, say, Mrs. Adventurer, is there a special someone you'll be spending Starlight Season with this year? Oop. Have someone in mind? Not the celebrating type. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I guess Starlight's more uh, for children like me, after all. Um, I always used to come with mother and father, uh, but they uh, are busy this year. That's why I decided to make myself useful and help out with the preparation. Um, I had a mind to make a giant snowman just for them, uh, that we could all come to see together. But I think they'll... Uh, need to stay at home. So, well, I guess it doesn't matter anymore. But, I should get back to work. Uh, see you around, uh, Mrs. Adventurer. So, uh, as Isain races off, your mind drifts to Cam uh, Leto, who you believe you last saw at the amphitheater. How does he fare with his allotted task? Well, let's go to the amphitheater and find out, shall we? Oh, Jesus. A big snowman. <laughs> Why, hello there, Zane. I was putting together another snowman of my own. What do you think? Have I redeemed myself? Oh, it's wonderful. I was just thinking how this snowman looked so lonely, and now he has a friend. Let's make one more. Yeah, another, you say? Um, indeed, I suppose that we've nothing better to do until the next delivery of ornament arrives. Very well, then. To work. Uh, well, it appears that I'll be occupied for a while here, yet. Yeah. Uh, you've completed your task, yes? Um, if you would be so kind, I would ask you to report to Am um, for the both of us. Fair enough. Get the next present. So, another task completed, and in spectacular fashion, I have no doubt. Um, I just think of, of how many smiles you've put on the children's faces today. Take your reward, friend. I dare say you've earned it. Okay, cool. All right, let's complete. Um. If it would not be too much to ask, we are in need of more snowman decorations. I have made an executive decision to build one more. With pleasure. I shall see the necessary supplies are uh, procured straight away. That said, color me surprised, Camlito. Could it be that you've finally gotten into the spirit of the season after all? 
One could say that, I suppose. Um, at first, I simply saw all this decorating as menial labor. Uh, trifling tasks far beneath one of my station. And yeah, seeing the twinkle in Young Saint's eye every time I make a snowman or hang up a glittering star, I began to sense that I was part of something far larger than I had ever imagined. For long, I realized the truth, that every one of my actions, no matter how humble, were indispensable in bringing good cheer to the hearts of the children in this realm. And perhaps more importantly, that such... Um, acts were diminished um, if performed without similar uh, sentiments of my own heart. Yet I fear that um, in realizing this, I have been consumed by the sheer responsibility of these tasks to the point that I feel almost petrified uh, with the desire to get everything just right. Sorry not my friend, there's still plenty of time to polish your creations to perfection before the test festivities kick off in earnest. So long as you've got that starlight spirit in you, uh, you're more than fine in my book. At any rate, our job is almost done. But that's um, all the more reason we can't afford to slack off um, or compromise until we've seen uh, to the last of the preparation. And the children are counting on us, my friends. Another thank you letter has arrived from one of your many ad admirers. Speak to Bainfield at the Amphitheater to see what it says. Okay. Next quest. So the last quest is called Wish Upon a Starlight. So Amp's passion for decking the town with starlight decorations knows no bounds. <laughs> so listen up, my favorite helper. It's time to bring some starlight magic. <clears throat> to the Great Loom uh, Growery. Seek out my Splendferitious colleague there, and she'll be more than happy to share with you all what you need to know. Fair enough. Okay, so we need to head to there. So once we get there, we will continue. Okay, we are here. So, ah, it's you again. Your assistance is most welcome, friend. I've been um, handing out wreaths for the townsfolk to decorate their front doors, but it would seem that our supplies has fallen woefully behind the demand. A most generous individual at the Botanist Guild has agreed to donate some of their loveliest works to our cause. Might I trouble you to make the trip there and procure them for us? Okay. Right, let's go to the botanist skill. And soon we have the Evan Stern event. Very weird New Year event in this game. Look at it in a couple of days. So, oh, Reese, you say, but of course. Uh, we've more than enough for one and all this starlight. Pray take as many as you need with my blessing, and give the celebrants my best regards. Okay. Ew. Oh, cut. Uh, a most generous individual at the Botanist Guild has agreed to donate some of their loveliest works to our cause. I trouble you to make the trip and procure them for us. Go. So just look at all of these lovely reefs. The grower at the Botanist Guild are nothing if not generous. At any rate, this should more than suffice. Thank you, friend. So look, that adventurer is helping to get ready for Starlight. Usain told me that she is too. He says that every time she finishes a task, she gets a special present. I should have helped out too. Usain, you say, the poor child. I can't even imagine working so hard. What with all the hardships she now faces at home? Hardships, you say. What is that that troubles you, girl? Pray tell. 
Um, I fear that I'm not privy to all the details, but word has it, um, her parents have not left the house in ages. Hussein's always running about town all on her own. He puts on a strong face, but I can't help but worry that she's suffering more than she lets on. Um, it wasn't always like this, mind you. I remember often seeing three of them together. A father cut a tail, dashing uh, figure always adorned his head with a stylish hat. A mother had the gentlest of smiles, and always clad in garb of matching patterns that she fashioned herself. Seeing such a lovely family walk the streets together was always such a heartwarming sight. Sadly, for whatever reason, it's a sight to be no see no longer. That's most troubling indeed. Pray forgive me. I haven't the slightest idea that anything was amiss when the girl came to offer her aid. I must have a chat with her. Um, ah, uh, but a host of lovely Reese has just arrived from our friends at the Botanist Guild. Pray help yourself to whichever strikes your fancy. Ah, forgive me. Your work here is done. Pray return to Am and collect your reward. You most certainly earned it. Cool. Alright. So, uh, let's go. Okay, we're back. So, well, if it isn't my favourite helper, I thank you most sincerely for yet another job well done. Well, what are you waiting for? Help yourself to another present from the Tinklebox. That's all five presents. Done. Uh, have the additional snowman decorations arrived yet by chance? I'm most eager to get started on my latest masterwork. Uh, that's a spirit indeed. Um, they were delivered not moments ago. Uh, splendid. In that case, Hussein and I shall get to work at once. So, that's the kind of good cheer I like to see, yes. It would appear that the Starlight Celebration is in good hands again this year. I guess your colleague had mentioned some troubling news about young Isain, so I took it upon myself to do some research into the matter. Whatever is the matter, child okay? Hell is fine, but I fear that her dear father is less so. Stricken with the grievous uh, malady, um, he lies uh, bedridden, with Isain's poor mother tending to him every waking moment of the day. Uh, that is most distressing indeed. The poor girl. He never said as such, and uh, doubtless she works as hard as she does in order to procure the medicine her dear father so desperately needs. Sadly, matters are not so simple. The illness her father suffers from, sadly, is a common one these days, and it is said demand for medicine greatly outstrips the supply. No matter how diligently the girl works to earn the coins she needs, there is simply not enough of the remedy to go around. Indeed, though um, opening the tinkle box made light um, up her eyes, I can only imagine what she truly wants for Starlight is to soothe her dear father's pain. If only there were some way that we could help her do just that. Then I'll cast it sooner and then cure. Uh, while there may be naught we can do to... Um, heal what ails a man. Perhaps we might be able to offer Isain and her family a bit of starlight cheer in uh, this trying time. The girl has been most beautiful and generous uh, little helper for us this season, has she not? Um, if we were to find some way to uh, dedicate this year's starlight celebration to her and her loved one, and in doing so, uh, make it the most spectacular success, um, it's ever been, mayhap that might lift her, lift their spirits. Delicate the celebration to her, an admirable idea I agree, but however, might 
However might we do that? In words, a stupendous snowman. The saint's father is unable to rise from bed. The child speaks of her wish to make a snowman of incredible size, you say. No wonder she took such an interest in my masterpieces. Um, as for the medicine, let me contact my associates and see if there is aught that might be done. In the meantime, might I trouble you to see the to the decoration um, of our final and most spectacular snowman? I'm confident that you understand that that would bring joy to a saint's heart more than anyone. Oh, but... It would seem that you've already collected all of the Tingle box has to offer. I forgive my presumption. I suppose that you'll be leaving us uh, to return to far more important matters. Uh, it is not about the rewards, you say, truly. You are the very embodiment of the Starlight Spirit, a veritable um, incarnation of the May herself. Fair enough. But another missive of thanks has arrived. Oh. And we are going to get a snowman bell. I think it's a snowman mount, apparently. So Am is putting the finishing touches of what promises to be a starlight celebration for the ages. At long last, reparations have almost come to an end. All that remains is to put the finishing touches on the mother of all snowmen and give our dear little Isain a starlight present she'll remember for a lifetime. And with that, shall we be on our way? I'm ready if you are. Why not? Now, let's get uh, to work, shall we? I've prepared an assortment of decorative materials for the occasion, so feel free to let your imagination run wild. That said, we mustn't forget um, who our audience is. What sort of snowman do you suppose would most warm the little saint's heart? Ah uh, yes, you were saying how concerned she was that the smaller snowman might be lonely, yes? And how happy she was when he got a friend. Perhaps there's a hint to uh, be had there. What sort of decoration uh, would make Isain happiest of all? Uh, give it some thought. Um, I've no doubt that you'll be uh, struck with inspiration. Uh, reflect on all you've learned and decorate the snowman as best you can to delight your fellow helper. As the townspeople tell it, Isain's father is the tall dashing type and rarely seen without his favorite hat. Um, her mother, on the other hand, was known to prefer wearing matching pants. Interesting. At least they try to be creative. Okay, so. Uh, red hat. Scarf. So, black. It's just because we want to give the red and the red to uh, the mum. Okay. And red. And red. So... Uh, now fully decorated, the three snowmen appear um, as if they were a family. Just looking at them warms your heart, and you can only hope that Isain feels the same. Return to Am and let her know that your task is done. Fair enough. So, you've truly outdone yourself, my friend. This is nothing short of a masterpiece. I have no doubt... Um, Isain will be overjoyed at the sight of your little snowman family. Cool. Uh, 
Uh, marvelous, simply marvelous. While I am partial to my own creations, I can only um, do nothing but tip my cap at your superior aesthetic sensibilities. Um, I have seen many a snowman in my day, but never one that warms the uh, cockles on my heart quite so much as um, your mere little snowman family. Truly, you are a snowman artisan of the highest order. Oh, so look, the snowman has a mummy and daddy. Why, it's just like a family, our family. Oh, how happy she must be. Did you make this, uh, Camelito? I only helped here and there. Mifri deserves all the credit. How do you like it, Isain? I dare say the little snowman isn't lonely anymore. Oh yes, now that I know that she's not alone, I can leave her to enjoy starlight with her family while I return home to my own. Um, I'm sorry for making you do all this for me when you were already so busy yourself. Can you forgive me? Um, I am the one who should be asking for forgiveness, my child. Um, after all, it is you who taught this stuffy, over-serious fool what the true meaning of the starlight was all about. Um, I may not be able to stay for the celebration, but this has already been the best starlight ever. Thank you so much for helping... Sorry, for letting me help. Um, I'll treasure the presents from the Trinkle Box forever. Um, Kalito, if you would. Of course, those presents were simply to show our appreciation for your help. Of course, we have another present, and this one's just for you. Or perhaps I should say, for your dear father. Uh, could it be? As it happens, uh, God, uh, uh, the Saint of Nemei um, here happens to be a patron of the apothecary that uh, produces this medicine. Uh, when he shared your story with the proprietor, they simply insisted that we deliver this to you straight away. What's more, uh, they have at long last discovered a means by which they can produce the remedy in vast quantities. Rest assured that all those who are suffering as your father um, is will have sucker soon enough. Is, that, is this reflecting real life? Is this targeted Square Enix? Uh, speaking of your father, my child, I took the liberty of delivering the first dose to him in person. From the looks of it, it would seem that you may well be able to enjoy the celebration after all. And I dare say that your dear father may even be feeling well enough to join you. Really? A medicine that not even all the money in the realm can buy. It uh, truly is a starlight miracle. Uh, yes, this season has taught me much. Coin is but a means to an end, not a goal in of itself. If I should put that on my finance channel. Uh, um, if it's not used to bring a smile to those who need it most, it has little more value than a lump of coal. I dare say that you've come far in this short time, uh, Camelito. Your father will be most proud to hear of this, I'm sure. Yes, you will prove a worthy successor to him, I am sure. About that, uh, 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 I've decided not to take over father's business after all. Um, it surprised me as well. Over the course of preparing for Starlight, I could feel my heart uh, changing. Now I am as certain as of it as anything. When I return to Uldar, I mean to devote my efforts to doing all in my power to alleviate the plight of those who were not blessed with my privileges. I misjudge you, my boy. Uh, you have matured far, far beyond even my wildest expectations. So much so, in fact, that I dare say that your father will have a stern word or two for me. At any rate, I am not returning anywhere until I've uh, celebrate Starlight with my... Sorry, to the fullest with the children of Gridania. It's saying, uh, here first among them, of course. 
Mercedes. I can't pronounce her name. Uh, that's the spirit. And with that, I can finally present you and Mifri with the greatest gift of all. The one that I've been waiting to give you from the start. Let me hazard a guess. The smiles of the little ones, yes? Ah, uh, clearly the starlight spirit has taken hold um, in your heart now. And with that, the moment that we've been waiting for is finally at hand. Without further ado, let the festivities begin. Uh, another missive has arrived. Okay, so we got the achievement Snow Day. Uh, let's take a look at the mount. Now summon the Snowman Mount. Okay, go guide Snowman. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't mount in this area. Um, scholars maintain that the tradition of building snowmen originated in Girabania, where they were used to encourage blessings such as cold and snow. Considering that the region... Let's put that there. Um, ...is almost entirely covered in um, acrid desert, how the snowmen were built in the first place remains a mystery. Fair enough. Okay, let's see if we can see what these missives are. So thank you for your invaluable aid, my friend. The Starlight festivities never could have happened without you. And my colleagues and I um, are far from the only ones who appreciate your efforts. Let's have arrived from across the realm to thank you for your generosity. Let's see for yourself. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of letters. Uh, do your part to assist um, in the Starlight festivities, are you? Uh, let old uh, Badaron tell you. Uh, these fresh off the boat adventurers uh, that show up here these days could learn a thing or two from you. Um, all about the glory those types are. Working the fields at uh, Summerfold, but I want to save the world. Uh, mayhap you should learn to avoid becoming Gobu Mulch first, I say. But you, you're different. I, um, you understand that putting a smile on even one lonely child's face is a heroic deed in its own right as fending off a fleet of pirates. Uh, Merry Starlight to your lass, and may the sails always be full. Fair enough. So are we reflecting? Okay. House Burrell. Okay, good. So you don't have to keep talking to him. Just read one letter after the other. Just play the miserable music. Uh, my friend, it is both an honor and a pleasure to see an Ishgardian tradition uh, bring joy to children all over the realm. Thanks to the tireless efforts of you and your colleagues. On behalf of my entire nation, I offer you my gratitude. Uh, while nothing would make me happier uh, than to join you this season, I regret to say that these remain difficult times here in the Holy See. There is much that requires my attention here, leaving me with most unfortunately little time for levity. Uh, still, I must give thanks uh, that I am able to celebrate the occasion with a restful night in the company of my loved ones here at House Burrell. Be well, my friend, and I look forward to the day uh, when we might feast together in these halls once more. Let's see. Uh, the car line canopy. A 
I'm trying to remember which ones I've actually read. Uh, I hope this letter finds you well, Mifri. That tells me that the pre preparations for this year's Starlight festivities have been more trying than ever. I regret that I cannot lend a hand myself, but watching over the young ones uh, would uh, follow in your footsteps, keep me occupied as ever. I think that's English. Um, as if that weren't enough, uh, what with the deep chill in the air these days, it is all I can do to keep uh, Figaga's gift from freezing and uh, cracking in the cold. It is not as easy as a glamorous task, but is one that I would not entrust to any other. No, for though the work may be strenuous, uh, gazing out at the great wheel in the stillness of the falling snow, these moments of tranquility I would not trade for anything in the world. I hope that you too are able to find some measure of uh, quietude and respite amidst the revelry of the starlight season. Okay, do this one. Big West uh, short stop. So, uh, Randox heard that. Um, Uplander is collecting all of sorts of whirly cogs and bitty bobs like, to give to the children. Uh, Round Rocks can give Uplander secret treasure too, if Lump Uplander wants. Uh, shiny junk, sparkly rocks. Uh, no matter how small, treasures give children big dreams. Uh, big dreams just like Round Rocks is dreaming. Yes, Round Rock dreams of new future. A sparkling shining future when all heart wishes of children come true. Uh, future uh, where Maid and friends are uh, waiting for Round Rocks. Because Round Rocks will um, hand make city of great treasures for that day. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's do the quicksand. We'll get through this, don't worry. These events only come around once a year. So, when I heard that one of my regulars saying that the Starlight uh, might be cancelled this year, I almost spat out my drink. But later I caught word that you were on the job, and I knew at the moment uh, there was no cause for worrying. I of all the adventurers I know, and believe me, I know plenty, don't understand quite as well as you that there's no deed too small to be meaningful. Um, least of all, the task of warming the hearts of children to find kindness and good cheer um, all too hard to come by these in these trying times. I feel proud, Mifri. Uh, you've done uh, right by the realm today. Take travels and don't be a stranger. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm amazing. Okay, Ralga's Reach. Oh, I selected the wrong one. Maelstrom's Command. I'll do Ralga's Reach next. So, uh, for those of us who spent most of our lives at sea, the Starlight Celebration is mayhap not as close to our hearts as it is to others. And yet, each year at this time, when I hear the calls of the birds uh, migrating from cooler climes, it gives me cause to reflect. Um, as sailors, we look to the night sky for the guidance of the stars. It is they who show us where we are and who illuminate the path before us. Uh, were it not for these beacons of light, we would be lost at sea, and before long find ourselves drowning in the cold depths. 
this got me to wondering uh might it not be said that the uh, smiles that you have put on the faces of the children this season uh, serve a similar role as they brighten the hearts of Eorzeans the realm over and raise their spirits in these times of uncertainty I for one believe so and for all you have done to that end you have my thanks Okay, Ralga's reach. A few more to go. Beaver, is it? So, when I first heard that there may not be a Starlight celebration this year, my heart broke for all the poor children out there. How relieved I was to hear then that you'd come to the rescue. After all, what um, what's building a few snowmen and putting some stars on trees uh, to the liberator of Alamigo? Uh, speaking of which, there has been talk of celebrating the season here in Alamigo next year, and you'll never guess whose idea it was. Why, none other than uh, Rayban himself. It seems he's rather keen on the idea of donning that scarlet garb. I too was thinking that I could touch up some traditional Alamegan dress and put together something suitable for the season and prepare plenty of presents for the children here. Of course, I um, have to show everyone here that I am good for uh, more than just uh, fighting, right? Okay, of uh, four left, the lotus stand. Eaten. So, how fare you in the preparations for the festivities, my good friend? Firstly, on behalf of all Gridanians, let me express my heartfelt gratitude for your most selfless acts this special season. I have given much thought to the matter of what my fellow Seedseers and I might do uh, to bring even more joy to the children, and I do believe that I have come upon just the idea. You are familiar with the tradition by which children uh, write letters to the spinner containing their most heartfelt wishes to place under the starlight tree, yes? Um, I have determined that uh, we will attempt to grant as many of them as is within our power and have recruited a number of like-minded souls to aid in the cause. In doing so, I hope that we will inspire that uh, many more smiling faces here in Gridania this starlight season, that the elementals will smile upon our efforts as well. Okay, so uh, the Fairy Kingdom. Do more after this. That's a big bear. So, uh, you open the envelope, but it is empty. The very next moment, you feel a tingle in the air. The faint smell of wind flowers wafts in the air, and a voice echoes in your heart as if from far away. Uh, I take one little peek, and what do I see but my sapling having a grand old time, prancing and frolicking about in the snow. Did it not occur to you that mayhap your beautiful branch would have uh, liked to join you uh, for this merry occasion? Uh, no, this simply will not do. And so to teach my uh, toughless sapling a lesson, I've imbued a little missive with an incantation. Yes, the moment that you so much as think of enjoying the starlight festivities with someone who is not your beautiful branch. Oh, but I jest. 
Were you taking me seriously? Why, nothing gives me greater joy than to see you actually enjoying yourself for once. I always thought that you could stand to learn a thing uh, from us faith folk. And why, yes, it seems like you have. Uh, till we meet again, my adorable sapling. Cool. Oh, two more. Read them all, just like I answer all YouTube comments. So, oh, on behalf of all the Sultana, I commend you on your efforts for saving this year's Starlight Celebration from an uncertain fate. Some would say that the snowmen fell out of place here in the Jewel of the Desert, but I have naught but fond memories of being a young girl spending sleepless nights in anticipation of what the saint uh, would bring me. Uh, there are those who would proclaim uh, that um, it is uh, base and shameful to engage in revelry at the time when our realms face such continued hardship, yet I could not uh, disagree more. Um, if we have um, any hope of uh, leading Eorzea to a brighter future, then it begins with ensuring that every young boy and girl out there looks towards uh, tomorrow with a smile on their face and the confidence uh, that happier days are to come. For all you have done and continue to do towards this end, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. last one so the starlight celebration why is there any better time of year not for the children here at the arms uh, that's for certain. Why, even now, they toss and turn in their bed in hope that the saint will show up at any moment. Um, Erdrag, uh whipped up a batch of um, or fruitcakes to celebrate the season, and guess what he did for Zloe? He put in pineapple as a special treat. Why, it was a scrumptious, um, scrumptious that the kids and I gobbled it all up straight away. Whatever. Um, have you ever had fruitcake? If not, you simply must try it. Rowena tells me that she's selling it for, and I quote, the almost um, insultingly low price of only 300 scripts. Feel free to buy a whole bunch. It keeps uh, better than pineapple pudding, so you can carry it around for weeks before it goes stale. Uh, speaking of which, I probably should clean out the kitchen. I guess the last step is going to be to check whether there's any anything to buy from the vendor. Cool. Alrighty. So there's usually a vendor. This person maybe? Yeah, there we go. Right. We can buy a tree. Buy that. And we can buy that. <coughs> uh, sorry. All this cold made me sneeze. Alright, I think that's it. So, I know it's a longer video, but these sort of seasonal events um, only happen once a year. And what's sort of different in Final Fantasy XIV is that seasonal events are actually different year on year. It's not the same thing over and over again. But they try their best to actually make it different every time. Well, anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.